my name is Noah and I work here at the Edge Lab in the Adaptive Design Studio. We're going to be making some instructional videos uh, to put up on the internet to help as a resource for people who want to learn more about adaptive design. Um, and this is the preliminary uh, video. So it is a knife safety video. <laughs> like to use here in the adaptive design studio uh, the wheel lock utility knives um, and they're really great because you twist the wheel and then you can twist it back and it locks so it in. So I'm going to show you right now how to replace the blade. First you want to twist that wheel so that it loosens enough so that you can slide the fitting right back out of the back of the handle and the blade comes right along with it. So that you'll see the blade has a hole in it and the nub on the fitting fits right inside of that hole. Okay, so you want to take a fresh blade out of the container and you want to be really careful um, because these fresh blades are really sharp slide the rest of them back in there. There we go. So, you're going to want to fit that nub right through the hole in the base of the blade again, and then you'll slide the whole thing back inside the handle. There. And then tighten the wheel lock down so that it's secure. Now what we do with the old blades is that we wrap them in masking tape so that nobody gets hurt, especially the folks who take our garbage away. So we wrap that around, if that's not enough, use another piece and make sure all the sharp edges are totally taken care of, and then you can just throw that out in the garbage. Next, I don't know if you noticed before, but these blades have brake lines on them. If you have been cutting and you've worn away the sharp edge of your blade, you can snap off the dull part of your blade and leave a sharp edge behind. The best way to do that is to line up the brake lines with the top part of the handle. the back part of the handle is angled at the same angle as those brake lines. So what you're going to do is after you've lined that up just like that, you're going to press that dull part that you want to snap off of the blade against a really firm surface. Holding the handle up, you're going to press that down against that brake line and it'll snap off. But sometimes when it snaps, um, the blade can tend to shoot around the room. So what you want to do is you want to take something to cover it up and keep yourself and your colleagues safe. Uh, press the blade against the table and you'll hear a snap. So that was the blade snapping right off. There it is. And you've got your sharp edge left. So let's pull that back in and wrap up that dull part of the blade that was all used up. A dull blade cuts a lot less easily than a sharp blade, and so when your blade is dull, you often find yourself applying more pressure, which is actually not that necessary. Um, and that's when the blade can slip and skip, and, and actually you can hurt yourself. So make sure that you always have sharp blades. Another really important thing to know is how to hold your utility knife. So you want to hold it firmly in the palm of your hand, um, extend the blade out, you can uh, lock the wheel lock with your thumb that way. Um, and then you want to have a finger on top that will help guide it. And, and since you're cutting towards yourself, you really want to have that extra control. Um, cutting away from yourself with the utility knife, you don't have that much control, so always concentrate on cutting towards yourself. Something really important to keep in mind is that when you're cutting towards yourself, you're actually cutting on an angle, so that if the blade does slip, it's going to 
cut past your body and not into your body. So that's the way you cut. And you m might notice that this hand, I'm applying a lot of pressure to secure it against the cutting surface. So you want to really make sure that you're holding that cardboard steady on the cutting table and making sure that your blade is pretty far away from your fingers. You want to really make sure that you don't cut your fingers. So there, like that. And now the last thing I'm going to show you is every time you put your cutter down, uh, make sure to retract the blade. And that's because in case you knocked the blade off, you don't, you don't want that uh, blade sticking out. It could cut you, it could cut the people that you're working with if it fell on the floor. So you want to make sure that the knife is retracted every time you put it down, and uh, that way you'll have some good, safe cutting. Okay, thanks very much everybody for uh, watching this video. So the Adaptive Design Studio is going to be putting out more instructional videos, so stay tuned. Uh, we're going to show you all kinds of adaptive design techniques. Thanks again for watching. Bye now.